everyone, Marlene here with Buffalo Check Chicks. Today, I thought I would come on. I have a little haul, and it's pretty much a mishmash of everything. So, uh, this week has been challenging because our internet service has been out, oh, off and on for the last three or four days. So, it's been hard for me to do a video. So I thought, it's working now, so let's go ahead and do it. I had this huh, notice on my door this morning, and it says, prepare for a planned outage. And uh, it says, we're making an update in your area. This is for my internet. internet. This is uh, through Cox. And uh, they know how inconvenient it will be. So, uh, <laughs> so I need to prepare for another outage. Okay, well, I hope they fix it. So let me show you some of the things that I have uh, got in the last week or so of shopping. And uh, first of all, I went to Fry's, that is our grocery store. It carries... Uh, Mostly, uh, well, their brand is Kroger brand. But I went looking specifically for my iced tea. And already in Arizona, the shelves have been empty of my Lipton iced tea. So I went to uh, Walmart.com and I ordered a case. <laughs> So I will be set for um, iced tea. And I'll probably order it one more time before summer. Because last summer I was out of it almost all summer. Except for some of you had sent it to me. Thank you. It got me through. But now I have 24 jars. And I will add another 24 jars. I'll probably order it in March or April. And that will get me through to the fall. I can't live without my iced tea. And I've tried other brands, but Lipton, that's what I like. Okay, so I know Valentine's Day is approaching. Um, I have debated whether or not to decorate for Valentine's. I'm still getting my Christmas down. And uh, I finally got my Christmas tree down. And most everything is put up. I have a few little odds and ends, but most everything is packed away or in bins in my hallway. <laughs> so uh, I haven't quite decided how much. I will do a little bit of Valentine's because I do love Valentine's Day. So I'll probably decorate a little bit because, you know, you got to have a few little... Uh, Cupids and little sweethearts for, uh, not, not that I have a sweetheart, but you know what I mean. Gotta have some love at Valentine's Day. So I did find um, a few little things, and love is all you need. And from my favorite store around the corner, Dollar General, only a dollar. <laughs> I love it when you can uh, go to Dollar General and find little knickknacks. Okay, I went to Hobby Lobby uh, a couple weeks ago. Don't have a Hobby Lobby in Costa Grande, so went uh, to Mesa. It seemed like everybody had a doctor's appointment uh, last week. And uh, so we made a day trip in my whole family. We thought, well, let's go. We'll all go. And we'll go to Hobby Lobby, we'll go to Goodwill, we'll go out to lunch, and we had a really good time. So I did go to Hobby Lobby, and I found a couple little things. This says love, um, all their Valentine's things were on sale, I think 40% off. And I think this was $2 and something. And uh, let's see, I got a stretch over here. I love the old vintage looking Valentines. And this one says, uh, 
be mine always and forever. And I just think it's so cute. So I got that. It was $5.99 and then it was less 40%. I'll let you do the math. <laughs> and then this one too. And uh, this one just says, uh, kiss me. <laughs> just so cute. And again, $5.99 less 40%. I didn't buy too much. I got a couple other things I'll show you in a minute. Um, this was a dollar from Dollar General. Home is where the love is or heart is. I thought that was cute. And this cute little, uh, I liked it because it has the pink and white beads on it. It was only a dollar. Simply Blessed, also from Dollar General. So, uh, like I say, I am going to decorate a little bit, probably not tons, but a little bit. I did find this candle at Dollar General. I thought it was really pretty for Valentine's Day. I like this uh, pink uh, stone or granite marble look to it. And uh, what scent is it? Apple Blossom. And it does smell really, really good. And... Uh, I think it was only about $5, but I thought that would be really pretty for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I went to the Goodwill in uh, Mesa, and I found the these dishes here. Aren't they pretty? They are not old, but they are, it says, uh, uh, Staffordshire... Uh, genuine uh, hand engraved and it is English ironstone tableware. I was so hoping to find the big plates but I found these. Uh, I only got four of them but another collection to start picking up right and I think I paid four dollars for those and then I got one two three Four, five, six of these. They're like a, I guess a dessert plate. And uh, $4.49. So um, I might use these in a Valentine's uh, tablescape. I don't know yet. But like I say, I wish I had the big ones. But I'll just have to keep my eye out for them. But I thought those were so pretty. Also, at Goodwill, I couldn't resist. I know it's not Christmas, but sometimes you have to buy off-season. And this is an adorable gingerbread canister. Put your cookies in. I just thought it was so cute and not chipped or anything. And I love the little gingerbread. And little candies up here. And uh, it was uh, $8.49. But it is super, super cute. I just loved it. So I had to get that. All right. Also, over at Goodwill, I found two pieces of Fostoria. This is an iced tea glass. It's funny I found this because I just ordered some from eBay. I haven't opened them yet. So uh, I think it's Fostoria. It's either Fostoria or Whitehall. I don't know. But it's that cube pattern that I like. And so they only have one glass. My son, Matt, he's got such a good eye. He can go through all the aisles. And like, I only found one. I'm like, I'm still searching on the first shelf. And he's already gone through everything. Um, so a dollar forty nine. They only had one, but I grabbed it. And then they had the uh, Fostoria creamer, and I do have a creamer, but my creamer is smaller than this, and it was three forty nine. But again, that cute pattern that I like, and I thought it was so pretty, so I got that. All right, what else? What else? Okay, over at. Uh, home goods. 
after Christmas sale, I ended up buying two of these. And I wanted them at Christmas time, but they weren't on sale. Aren't they cute? They're like uh, Christmas trees sitting on a pedestal. And uh, I thought they would be adorable with my gingerbread houses. So, see how cute that looks with gingerbread house. So I had to get them, two of them, and Martha Stewart seasonal decor. Boy, Martha's doing everything, isn't she? So um, I thought they were really cute, and they were on sale, and I thought it was still way too expensive, $12. So I bought two of them, $12 each. But they're really good size. And you know what? You could probably even use those for Valentine's Day. Why not? So, now I'm going to move this stuff off, and then I'm going to bring some more stuff up. So, let me shut this off for a sec. Okay, so I cleared those things off the table. Let me show you the rest of the Valentine's items I bought, and then I'll show you some more things that I bought. Oh, it's some, uh, I think I got some from Ross. Uh, some more from Hobby Lobby, and I got some things from Amazon. Okay, so this is super cute. It's a little heart on the sweater fabric. Just says uh, XO, XO with a little red and white and pink beads. This was also from Dollar General for $3. <laughs> so cute. And over at Hobby Lobby, like I said, I love the Valentines that look old-fashioned. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. Let me scoot up. I got my little Maggie sitting right here next to me. See if we can see her. Where are you, Maggie? Maggie, say hi. Maggie? She's got her little shirt on. <laughs> She's being shy. Okay, so this one I got at Hobby Lobby. It says, Be Mine, Always and Forever. And it has a little vintage-looking boy and girl. I thought that was so cute. And these were 40% off of uh, $6.49. So. And the other one I got says happy valentine's day also hobby lobby and it was a uh, 40 percent off of uh, 6.49 and it just says yeah happy valentine's day but look at the graphics aren't they cute i just love the little old-fashioned valentine's Okay, and also at Hobby Lobby, I found these. Um, they are just table runners, and they're lace. And uh, see if I can find the end that I can show you. Well, they're hearts. It's just lace hearts. And I thought those were so pretty. Uh, 72 inches by 13 inches. I did get two. No, I got three. I bet I only meant to get two and grab two. <laughs> two at, or one extra. These were $3.99 uh, less the 40%. So they were only $2 and something. So I got those. Thought that'd be really pretty on, on my tables. I wish I could show you the, the pattern. You can see that, yeah. Just red lace heart. So pretty. And I think the only other Valentine I got was uh, <clears throat> this sign. And this came from, I think this also came from, I want to say Dollar General, but I'm not sure. Anyway, no, I got it at Fry's Grocery Store. And it just says, love, love, love. I thought that was really cute. And uh, I know this was on sale. 
I think I only paid about $4 for it. Pretty good size. <clears throat> so that's about all of my Valentine's shopping I did. I do have a whole bin out in my garage of Valentine's decorations. So I'll put a little something together. Not quite sure what. I know uh, Kathy is uh, planning on doing a Valentine's home tour. And uh, Valentine's Day also happens to be Kathy's birthday. So make sure you watch it and stop by and wish her a happy birthday on Valentine's Day. Okay, so I'm going back to... This is from Ross. It is a... Let's see if I can get it out of here. It is one of those... Uh, faux potted plants. I don't know what this plant's called. I know it's a, a succulent. Does it say? No. Anyways, I spent $11.99 for it. I really like this. And it's in a little gold pot. thought it was real pretty. And what I bought it for specifically was to go in this head. And the head also came from Ross. It was $14.99. And I'll have to put some more bags in the bottom of this so it's more elevated. But you just put, put it in like that and you adjust your plants and they kind of look like hair. And I'll fix that up better. But I thought they were so pretty. And I bought this for a special reason. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So, that's what I found at Ross. Now, I'm going to go back to Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> so, at Hobby Lobby, <clears throat> besides looking at Valentine's, I was looking at, they had wall art 50% off. And um, I got an itch right after Christmas to redo my walls a little bit especially in what i call the great hall because you know it's like 30 feet long and so wide i thought i would put a gallery wall in there and i'll actually show it to you at the end of the video it's not complete because it's going to be you know something that i will be adding on to as i find artwork and uh i have some of my artwork that I, I have already had. I have uh, <clears throat> my great-grandparents' portraits from about Jeepers. My grandpa was born in 1876, and his parents were probably born in, I'm going to guess about 1820. Yeah. So... These are their portraits. They are so old, and I'm so lucky to have them. So I have those hanging on my gallery wall, because that's how we started off here. They immigrated, my grandparents, great-grandparents. Uh, her name was Jane. Her uh, uh, maiden name was Belle, B-E-L-L. And his name was Richard Hartshorn. And uh, so they came over from England and settled here. He was a coal miner. Uh, my grandpa was a coal miner. We come from a long family of coal miners. My mom was a coal miner's daughter. So um, I just thought it was neat that, you know, that is where we started from. Here are my great-grandparents, first generation to immigrate here to the United States. So I've got those on. I'll show you the wall. But anyways, I um, have lots of artwork on the wall, and I thought I would pick up some more. And this is, uh, I'm going to call it eclectic style because... Uh, you know, I like a little bit of everything, and none of it is expensive. It's just things that I like and things that 
bring joy to me when I see it. So uh, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I really like the frame. And I guess it is some kind of bull. He's got the long horns standing in the metal. But look how it's framed. It's so cute. This was uh, $25.99 and it was 50% off. So it was $12.50. And I thought that was adorable. So that will go on my gallery wall. You put it aside. <laughs> and this I also found at Hobby Lobby. It will go on my gallery wall. It's just uh, a classic print of pears. These are apples in there too. No, just pears. And I just love it. I love, it's just so calm and it's, um, the colors are as pretty. And uh, I know it is uh, probably from a famous painting that they just, you know, made a, a picture of. It looks like it's painted, but it's not. But I like the way it's framed. It was $14.99, so it was half off of that. So, uh, what are we talking, $7.75. And I thought it was so pretty. So that will also go on my gallery doll wall. Then I found this uh, picture here that I love on Amazon. And Amazon has a lot of artwork. If you are looking, you know, for uh, anything specific, this is just a horse. And I love that it has this little... Uh, like a little collie dog sitting in front. And I was really pleasantly surprised how well this was made. Came frame. I think I paid $17 for this one. And uh, it's framed very nice. It's nice and heavy duty. So that will find a place on my gallery wall too. And I loved it. Like I say, I'm so eclectic. I couldn't just stick with one theme. I just have to have a little of this and a little of that. And that's what makes me happy. Then I found this mirror over at Hobby Lobby. It's quite heavy. It was $17.99. And I thought that would be real pretty hanging on the gallery wall too oh look you can see them there see no christmas tree in my corner it's gone no christmas tree in fact i don't have much of anything over there but see that spot spot right there the empty spot to the right of my tv i'm going to be doing something with that but anyway so i i found this picture or this mirror it was really pretty it's it's heavy so I'll have to make sure that I put one of those uh, put it in by a screw in one of those little uh, I what are they called those little plastic things so it doesn't fall out of the wall <laughs> but I really love that so I got that and then the only other thing I found at Hobby Lobby was <laughs> this so I got um, they're just long stems very very long I just really like them they they shape pretty good they're plastic but they look really nice I ended up getting two of them the other one's stuck and they were $9.99 but they were, here we go, but they were 50% off, so, yeah, I got two of them. And then I found uh, these roses, and I thought the colors were gorgeous, and they look so nice. They really look realistic. So pretty. And why I like these was um, 
you know, they don't necessarily look fall or spring. I think I can leave these up year round if I want, but the roses are gorgeous. These were also uh, $9.99 and they were half off. And so when I tuck this in with the branches, oh, you're not gonna be able to see. Let me scoot back. If I tuck them in with the branches, I think it's just going to be gorgeous. You know, and I may add a little greenery to it. And I'm thinking about, oh, I've had this space for a long time. Let me get it out. For a very long time. And I thought maybe it'd be really pretty in this space. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in my entryway. Let's just throw those in there. This is how I like to do floral arrangements. Ta-da! <laughs> and uh, how pretty that is. Of course, you know, I'll adjust everything. And like I say, maybe I'll add a little uh, greenery coming down on the side. But uh, just thought they were really pretty. Okay. All right, now, what am I forgetting here? Going back to home goods after the Christmas uh, Christmas sale, I bought all my wrapping paper for next year. And uh, I don't think I had to buy any last year. So I was due this year and I got it all half off. And this is the kind of wrapping paper I like. It's like that really heavy, uh, they call it like butcher paper. And uh, this one has little gnomes on it. This is just green and white polka dot. See, this was $4.99. I got it for $2. This was $3.99. So here's another one. It's just like that brown paper, you know, but... I just really like the print on these. So I got one, two, three. And then I got a plaid that I really, really like. Four. And I love this. This is one of my favorite wraps. Uh, this is a huge bolt. So it was $10. I got it for five. And what I like to do with this is either uh, make a bow, just wrap it in twine, or that uh, baker's twine. It's so cute. That's what I did this year. And uh, you got to have some Santa Claus wrap. Old-fashioned Santa Claus. And the other one and last one I got was uh, this one. Just uh, the brown paper again with the little snowman on it. So I am all set for next Christmas for my wrapping paper. But that's the way to do it is uh, after Christmas, go in and buy, you know, as much as you can or what you need for the following year. So, but I love this real thick. You can see it's like, you know, the brown paper. Love it. Okay, so let me move this over. My little dog's looking up here at me like, what you doing, Mama? Come here, come say hi. Come say hi to everybody. Say, I got my little shirt on and it says, and it's not to be mean because she prefers to be dressed. She loves wearing clothing. And it has been cold in Arizona. In fact, today we have sunshine, but we've had three days of wet, cold, gloomy rain. I know we need the rain, so I shouldn't complain, but really cold for me. See, in Arizona, after you've been here a while, 80 degrees is sweater weather. 70 degrees, you get out a jacket. 60, you get your snowsuit on. <laughs> but uh, say hi, Maggie. Maggie got so scared last night because we were sitting out on the patio and it was early in the morning. My son couldn't sleep and I couldn't either. So we went out and sat 
took Maggie out to go potty and the coyotes were in the neighborhood and they were on both sides of the neighborhood and they were loud and howling. She knew better not to say or not to bark at them. She just sat there so quiet and her eyes were this big and yes, yeah, she knew. So, okay, let me put her down. My goodness, this is turning out to be too long. Okay, so these are things that I got from eBay that I have not opened yet. And I probably should have opened them right away because you never know if they're broken because they're glass. But I have had good luck with everything I've ordered from eBay too. And uh, eBay's fun. <laughs> I ordered artwork uh, for my bedroom uh, last year on eBay. So let's see when they get here. Packed very nice. Oh my goodness, it has the bubbles. It's going to make a mess. Look how nice they have the, uh, not bubbles, peanuts in there. And it's each one is wrapped in bubble wrap. You know, you have to be careful because sometimes you can uh, buy something for $20 on eBay, but then they want 50 or 60 to ship. Uh, I do not pay that much. But if it's reasonable shipping costs, you know. Anyway, these are glasses of Factoria. I think they could be Whitehall. Um... Like the one I showed you earlier, I think, when I found her, my son found it to Goodwill. Yeah. So, and I think there's six of them in here. Aren't they pretty? They're just plain, I know. They're not like real fancy crystal like some that I have. But there's something so, I don't know, elegant about these, the Fosteria. So, uh, wait. it's similar to the other one, but not quite, but that's okay. So I got some of those and then I got to get up here and scoot over to grab this one. This is the one I'm hoping didn't break. Okay, put that in there. Let me stand up for a minute, guys. It's not going to be a pretty view here. Okay, so this is a box that was packed inside another box that was double. And these are uh, the punch uh, cups that I bought that match the punch bowl. I've been looking for them everywhere. I can never find them, so I ordered them. And uh, this is Whitehall because uh, a first story did not make this. And it's Whitehall. And what's interesting about this is they put this inside another box. But it is the original Whitehall 12-piece punch cup box. It's original. So... Uh, keep the box, but I think instead of 12 being in here, I think that there was only 11, so I will have to keep my eye out at an antique store for a 12th one, hopefully, and these broke, like I say, it was double box, and here they are, aren't they beautiful, I love them, they are just Gorgeous. I'm so happy I found these. I can't remember how much they were. Um, maybe about $30. I don't know. I said on my last video. But, uh, yeah. Beautiful. Of course, they'll all need to be washed and everything. But there are, make sure they're not 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. 11 of them. So one is missing. But I'm happy they're in the original box. 
but they're gorgeous. I have wanted the complete set and I finally got it. Beautiful. And I'll use this too. Christmas time, it even be great. Valentine's or, or uh, Mother's Day luncheon, tea party, you know, anything. It's just so pretty. So, I think that's it. Oh, I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to go show you my gallery wall. And I got to wrap this up because I know it's getting way too long. So, uh, let me shut this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the gallery wall that I have been working on. As you can see, there is all kinds of art from modern florals <laughs> and uh, some original art. This is or an original piece of art from Australia. Uh, this is my great grandmother, Jane Bell. This was a, a watercolor painting. It's hard to come in. That was done only for me, a commission. And uh, she's a famous artist outside of Las Gatas, California. Uh, this is my grandfather, my great-grandfather. And then up there, that is from a studio. It is original art from a studio in New Mexico. And then I had this, just modern art here. This one I just bought. It's cricket. <laughs> I just love the colors of it. I just bought this at Home Goods. And uh, this one up here, I bought at Home Goods. Some more modern art here. Uh, so I have a little bit of everything. This is an original piece uh, from Portugal. And then I have the horse print up here. So I really like it. I think it's so pretty. I'm really enjoying it. Um, like I say, it's very eclectic. And I did put my grandfather clock in here, and I love it because now it's out here where I can see it. I still have my baskets up. That's the box that I haven't told you about yet. So I still have my baskets up, and then I just have this. Kind of reminds me of sand art. It's so pretty. And another table here. So, uh, yeah, I really, really am enjoying the gallery wall. And I'm not done. I'm still going to. I have art to hang up there, up there. And uh, let me know what you think. And then here, where all my <laughs> Christmas bins are that I need to put out in the garage, this is all going to be a gallery wall as well. So I will be collecting art probably the next six months, but that's okay. I left the red and white things up here for Valentine's Day. So anyways, um, let me tell you about that one box. So on um, Amazon, this is from a company called Tribe signs they have some really neat pieces of furniture and this is a bookcase wall unit I'm going to be putting in my family room I'll show you where but this is going to be mostly for um, decorative items and things I'll show you where I'm gonna put that I have got to get all these bins out into the garage Everybody thinks I'm so organized. Believe me, I'm not. Still, I'm leaving my crystal case there. Okay, so this space here on this side of the TV took all my Christmas pictures off. That's why the ladder's there. That is going to be where um, that wall unit will be. And I'll, I'll put a picture up here so you can see it. 
Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. This is much, much, much too long. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.